Well, first, I think you've got good board members on both sides, this is, and this is a wonderful community. I think you also have people who are committed to doing what's right for the community, which is great. Uh, I think the relationship in general is really quite good if you compare what's going on in other jurisdictions. There are tensions, and that's understandable. I think we could be doing a, good, a better job of working together, particularly actually on planning for development. Um, and, I, and we're starting to move in that direction, which is great. Uh, for example, the Crystal City sector plan is quite a major plan. It goes forward 40 years, but there's no mention of schools in it at all. And I think that's a mistake. And I think if we could start to work more closely together, and I think we are, as I say, doing that, and I think we can continue to do that. I think um, there is understanding and respect on both sides, which is important and crucial to any relationship. I think there's a fair amount of trust. That's important. And I think we can move forward. I think the more knowledge we have on both sides of what's going on with each board would help. I know sometimes on the school board, I wish I knew more about the county side, and, and we find things out. But I think there are better ways of doing that, and I think the, the flip is true, too. So um, I am really looking forward to trying to be a bridge and uh, just strengthening some already very good relations with Rob. I think that the relationship between the school board and the county board is cordial. At times encouraging and uh, to borrow from Ms. Garvey it certainly has its tensions. It has been my experience and I've served on uh, school related things as well uh, that the uh, school system's general approach has been just give us our money and leave us alone. All right? uh, which I can understand because from their standpoint they, uh, I, my observation is the school system probably is a little quicker to make decisions uh, and move forward on projects when it's time to build something. Um, but maybe perhaps not so much in terms of community engagement, which is probably more the county strength in that situation. So you sort of have these two conflicts that are very hard to reconcile, um, and yet a relationship where both want to be completely independent of one another. I think that in reality, they have to work much more together because it's all one Arlington. Ultimately, the county board controls, and this is why schools are important on the county board, we control the county side, the bonding, and the, and the annual allocation, and what have you. And um, it is, as Ms. Garvey pointed out, the largest employer in the county. Well, the county board and the school board share a really important goal, which is making sure that Arlington's children have the resources they need in order to excel. And we are fortunate that we have such outstanding public schools. And I believe that is part, partly the responsibility and uh, the reward from the county board and school board working together. As a county board member, I would respect the role of a school board in stewarding our schools and setting policy for education. I would want to be a collaborative partner, helping to make sure that we have the adequate resources we need, both to meet our growing capacity needs and also on the operating side, making sure that we can attract and retain outstanding teachers and provide all of the other classroom benefits our children will need. As a county board member, I would want to be collaborative, I'd want to be communicative, and I'd want to make sure that the decisions that are being made where the county board has input on budget, on capital, and if community facilities are needed to help to address capacity, really reflect a full public process and conversations with our community about what our priorities should be. I've been active in the school for numerous years and in many schools, as, as many of you know. Um, the education holds a special place in my heart. Um, but when it comes to the functions um, of, the school, of the school board and the county board, I see some areas where um, we can make improvements with respect to maximizing the effectiveness of our tax dollars. Uh, I look at procurement, for instance. Uh, if you could take a look at um, IT, you know, both the, the public schools and, and, and the county government have separate contracts for everything, when, when it, whether it's laying fire, fiber optics, computer servers, web designer, all those things. And so I look at that at the top level, and I see a place where if the procurement offices at least come together and bid together, then we would get um, more effective use of our, of our dollars. And so definitely that, that's one area I would look. I would also look in areas where, um, where the two have similar functions or in, in, the, in their departments, like finance, and see where we can merge those operations. I have been a school volunteer in the classroom, assisting with larger class size, as well as a county volunteer. I've also sat in the Capital Improvement Planning Work Group. And as a member of this work group, one of the recommendations that we made was, as we move forward with how we are going to prioritize our capital needs for the next 10 years, why aren't the schools at the table? Why are we not coming together on this very fundamental issue? So what did I do? I went to the school board meeting. 
And they also have a prioritization process to determine their capital improvement planning needs. And both processes from the county side and the school side are very valid. But to earlier folks' point, we can have them be integrated. <coughs> so therefore, we can have cost savings in the long run. As we are making enhancements to Greenbrier Park, we can also be using some of those services to make enhancements to Yorktown High School. Same thing at TJ, the list goes on. We do need to make sure that we are being more collaborative and we are using our school facilities and our county facilities for multi-purpose reasons.